Alright, so now we're going to learn how to create a lollipop chart in Tableau. There are two types of dots, horizontal and vertical. We can use this type of charts by combining the bars and the circles. So it's like a stick and at the end we have a big circle and we use the circle in order to highlight a data value. So let's go and create that. It's very simple. Let's take the subcategories to the rows and then our measure is going to be the sales as usual. Let's put it on the columns. So with that we have already our bar charts. If not, then go to the mark and change it let's go and sort it in order to have a rank so since it's lollipop we're gonna have sticks so let's have smaller bars let's go to the size over here and just reduce the size so now what is missing in the lollipop is the end circle so in order to make another chart what we're gonna do we can take the sum of sales as well and duplicate it so hold control and just drag and drop the sum of sales so with that we got our two measures and what we're gonna do next we're gonna go and change it to circles so let's go to the marks to the second sum of sales and instead of automatic we're gonna have the circles so now we got very nicely those circles but they are really small so let's go and make it bigger a little bit smaller all right so maybe this is fine so what is the next step in order to merge two charts together in one single view as usual we're going to use the dual axis so let's go to the second sum of sales right click on it and then let's go to the dual axis so now as you can see things got destroyed we don't have any more the bars and that's because in the first measure of the sum of sales we didn't specify for tableau that is bar it was an automatic and with that tableau gonna go and make guesses on the suitable visual for the current data which is something that is wrong so what we're we gonna do we're gonna go to the first measure and say for tableau it's not automatic we want it always to be as a bar so let's switch it so with that as you can see we have already the shape of the lollipop we have to do some few stuff that is not a big deal so we forgot about synchronizing the axis so let's go to the second one right click on it and let's synchronize it just to make sure that everything match correctly and now i have those two axes that have exactly the same information so i'm just gonna go to one of them and hide those informations in order to have it only once so now the key thing of the lollipop is that to show information information at the end at the circle so here we can put anything like any measure for example we can have the total sales or the total number of orders and so on but in this example i would like to have the text of the subcategory on those circles so how we're gonna do that we're gonna go to the circle over here and we're gonna put in the labels the subcategory so by holding control and putting the subcategories on the labels so now as you can see we have now the headers informations on those circles so what we can do we can go and now and hide those informations so right click and show header with that we have removed those other informations and we have now the header informations or the subcategories on the circles one more thing that we can do we can go and add coloring so let's take the sum of sales and put it on the colors so with that we have a really nice rank chart for the subcategories okay so now let's see quickly the second type we can have a vertical lollipop chart I just duplicated the previous one and all what we're gonna do we're gonna go to the quick menu over here and switch everything between the rows and the columns all right so now we have everything vertical but we have really big circles so let's go and change that let's go to the second sum of sales and go to the size let's try to reduce stuff over here and we can reduce as well the sticks so let's go to the first sum of sales to the size and as well let's try to reduce the sticks so now it looks really nice but still we have a problem with the labels so let's go again to the circles go to the labels and we're gonna change the alignment from automatic to on top so we're gonna go and change that so now we have the labels on top of those circles but still we don't have all the labels because the size of the text is really big so let's go to the fonts over here change it from 10 to 8. one of them is missing you can go and reduce the size of the circles so that's it this is how you can create lollipop charts in tableau and here you can see the power of tableau we can go and combine different type of charts in one single view like here we are combining the circle with the bars so that means we have endless amount of combinations and this opens the innovations in tableau where you can create amazing charts and visuals and this is exactly the magic of tableau